Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading with me for the 20th to the 26th of December. We are going to have a look, see what's coming through and what messages I have for you. All right, so just wanted to mention very quickly if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me and yeah, all the information of course is down below and also intention items, yeah, so intention items which thousands of people have seen results with which are on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com um, you can check out the entire review section at the bottom of my website, but there's handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, crystals, candles, sage, um, intention pouches, etc. These are handmade, meditated with, and sage, and for different intentions. So if you are interested, check out the intention items um, as well, which... Uh, We've been making for over three years now which is so amazing as well and so many people have seen results um so yeah it's amazing all right so let's begin let's see what is coming through um for you sagittarius so it's in this week that the sun goes from sagittarius to capricorn so on the 21st of course Cap um, capricorn season starts and uh, sagittarius season will have ended which uh, is very interesting indeed all right, so let's begin first of all with this trip and weight deck. Hmm, it's interesting. I can't help but feel there's a sense here of you going from a very like emotionally vulnerable place to a place of real strength and um, victory and, and, and just getting, getting yourself to a place where you're thinking more from logic than emotion, but that's not a bad thing at all. Just want to say, I actually think, you know, vulnerability is totally a superpower. I, I really believe that. But a lot of you have felt very emotional to the point where any little thing could get to you. This week, what's really interesting is things are changing because the Queen of Cups here shows that this vulnerability that you have, which personally I believe is a very good thing, right, is changing to bring you power, which is the King of Swords, in a way where you feel like, you know what, I'm gonna now think from logic because emotions have been hurting some of you. They really have. Um, your emotions have been taking a toll on you actually. And so now there's a switch that's happening and that is the Two of Pentacles that we are picking up on, which is, uh, yeah, very, very significant here. Um, so that's what I'm seeing there. Interesting to see how this energy actually impacts you for the entire week because as this switch happens, it's not like, you know, you're turning off a switch or something, but you're starting to think more from like logic. Not that you don't think from logic, but you're thinking more from logic than emotion. I don't know how else to explain this, um, except for the fact that, yeah, it, it's making you somehow feel a lot stronger as well with the nine of pentacles. Okay, let me just pull some more cards and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Monopoly Tarot for the middle of the reading, like the middle section. Okay, so let's go with this much. Queen of Swords. Oh, oh, okay. So the tables are turning. That's what's happening here. Literally, the tables are turning. Some of you have felt so emotionally drained, exhausted, frustrated with certain situations that have been happening in life. What's happening now is that you're starting to think to yourself, I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to do what I need to do for me. And that is the, the King of Swords energy where you are standing up for yourself. You are standing in your power. You are taking care of yourself. That's what's happening over the first three days of this week. So from the 20th, I would say to the 23rd, that's what's happening is you're really in your own power. Now, what's really interesting is that towards the last sort of four days, let's say, of the week, which we're covering in terms of the dates, what's really fascinating is that someone here is really, really triggered to come forward because now they're sensing you in this kind of energy where you are confident, you are strong, you are motivated, you're doing the absolute most for yourself, you're putting yourself first, you're taking care of yourself, you're doing just so much for you that it is absolutely triggering them to an extent that they can't deal with basically. That's what I'm seeing. And this is them coming towards you. So you have the nine plus the one, we know what that means together, adds up to 10. 
it's really powerful. Like your your chakras are going to be so much more aligned. Sorry, I'm using this card. I know to point to point here. I do apologize, but uh, you're feeling so much more aligned. You're feeling so much happier. You're feeling content, motivated to perhaps do things that before you you were feeling a little bit like oh I'm not sure if I really want to do that right now. Yeah, you're feeling so much more motivated and so much stronger here. I think this is incredible. Do you? Oh wow! And the Queen of Swords is you standing in your power right? Eight of Wands is communication um, in the sense that someone here really wants to communicate with you because they pick up on the strength and power of your energy and they don't want to hold back anymore. They're now starting to think, wait a second, something has changed. Something has dramatically changed and I need to say something here. I need to say something before I lose this person. It's a very spiritual thing where when your energy rises genuinely for yourself and you start to feel like, you know what, I got this, I can do this, I'm going to put myself first. Whew, people around you, they pick up on it spiritually without you even having to say anything or do anything. Because as your confidence rises, they start to feel a loss of like your energy on them. Yeah. You're starting to feel quite spontaneous, very like strong within yourself, very content and motivated to the point where it's really triggering people around you and the tables are turning. So if someone's treated you really horribly to the point where you were emotionally distraught for a long time or frustrated for a very, very long time, what's happening is that as you start to rise in terms of your energy, as you start to put yourself first and find mechanisms that sort of work for you to, for, so that you can uplift yourself and also heal, they are starting to feel this immense pressure and trigger on them, um, which is very interesting. So you're working hard this uh, this week on your career, on your goals in regards to work, or if you're studying, for example, you're working very hard towards those particular things for sure. Emperor here is really interesting because, yeah, I feel like there was someone emotionally quite unavailable or emotionally very detached who was just not very nice to you in all honesty and they did not treat you very nicely. The Seven of Cups here is that you're also thinking about the things that you want to do for yourself, things that are perhaps on your bucket list, things that you have been fantasizing about or wanting to really participate in and you're thinking to yourself, maybe I should do this, right? Some of you might be thinking of things like I want to cook this particular dish that I haven't cooked in a while. I want to run a marathon. I want to travel the, these particular countries. I want to, um, you know, explore my dreams. I want to <laughs> do karaoke. Like, it's it's random things, okay? And it's going to be different for everybody, but they're the really random things that you're going to think to yourself about. I know I mentioned karaoke, but I was just giving some examples because, you, you know, these are things that perhaps you've always wanted to do, but just haven't done so now you're like I, I got energy to do this for myself whereas before perhaps you thought to yourself no I just really don't want to do that you know you just felt very down it's typical it just like slid right off the table these cards are very slippery um that's for sure Ooh, watch me work avenue oh yeah eight of pentacles see you're working very hard I, I did mention that as well before um with the cards so I'm not really surprised by that uh, this is the one that fell on the floor, which is a page of wands, development of news and enthusiasm. Yeah, some of you may even get news from someone that somebody's thinking about you a lot and feeling really bad about how they treated you. But for many of you, they may not say so much because they're quite emotionally kind of stubborn and things like that. But they're being triggered more and more as the weeks go by to come forward. So that's another thing. It depends. For some of you, you may get communication. For others of you, it may take a bit of a while, basically. red and pink joyous home gardens which is the four of wands okay so that just goes to show that you're finding joy fulfillment and in, you, like you're really growing within yourself because here we have a garden and there's just so much abundance and fulfillment there and you feel so good within yourself if anything you're going to feel good we've got here future plans gardens got a lot of gardens um so yeah you see you're thinking about the future where is that seven of cups gone oh it's right here right you're thinking about the things that you want to do the things that make you feel good some of you have been waiting for things to change in this situation and you're realizing that nothing is changing so now you're thinking let me do something different got to do something different and restful solitude way with the four of swords see you're feeling rested many of you are going to sleep so much better this week you're going to feel a lot more let's say less anxious and more balanced i would say which is obviously very significant whoa okay got quite a few cards here i'm going to take this one 
Um, so we've got nostalgia place, which is a six of cups. So it's interesting how someone here is clearly having nostalgia towards you and is suddenly now being triggered to come towards you. And that is the tables turning, right? So someone here is very, very much so feeling that spiritual pressure to come forward, which they have at times been running away from, pretending doesn't exist. But now as you start to rise in your energy this week, Sagittarius, what starts to happen is that they start to feel even more pressure. Some of you have already been doing a lot of inner work, but for some of you, it really starts this week. So that's what I'm seeing. So I really hope that this reading helped you. Of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And do take care, everyone. All right, bye. Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so as well. Everything's linked down below. Bye, everyone.